Go. Calder was born with no tibia bones. Hey, not bad, Calder. We made the decision when he was two and a half to amputate. He got his first pair of prosthetics on Halloween when he was two, and he's been running ever since. <laughs> Everybody's gonna have doubters at one point or not in their life. It just ha so happens that, you know, I feel like my doubters are a little bit louder, but that means that you just gotta turn the headphones up a little bit more. The game is special. I, I don't know why, it it's, it's just special to me. You can do anything you set your mind to. Most people know his idea is to make it to the NFL and, and play quarterback. He'd be the first person with prosthetics to do it. So he's really good at what he does. He's out here determined, he'd be out here for hours. I never question my ability to play football when I'm on the field. A double amputee puts out 300% more energy just to walk than a regular person. I have always been a football and baseball fan. My brothers, they played all the way through high school, so yeah, it's just a family thing. He was probably about five or six. Go. He came and he said, I want to play football. And of course, as his mom, I said, no. Probably in second grade, he, in, he asked again, and I gave in to flag football. In fourth grade, he came again and he said, mom, I want to play tackle. And his older brother, who's closest in age to him, came to me and said, you know what, it's a good idea. Go! He started playing tackle in fifth grade. And at the end of that season, we heard about Blitz. Move your feet! Here we go! Blitz is a private training facility. Balance and throw. It was like my first time ever having a kid with prosthetics, but um, it was something that I was up for the challenge. You know, the bond became pretty strong between us two. Now when I come through, now you can move. We've just been overcoming obstacles ever since. We won a national championship last year and he was the youngest one on the team. I need you to move. This year he went into his junior high, um, eighth grade year, and he told the coaches he really preferred to only play quarterback. I go to Legacy, the School of Sports Sciences. It's a school that you go to if you want to be in sports after you get out of playing sports. So they have courses like coaching and sports management. My goal is to get an offer to play college football and then God willing I will play pro football. Nobody had ever seen a kid like Calder on a football field before. Once they get over the initial figuring out that he's not going to break, they do treat him like a normal player um, and they will hit him. He doesn't let people say, you can't do this. I hope he can reach for the stars and that nobody stops him. There you go. I got pulled out of school one day and there was a video from J.J. Watt on my mom's phone saying that I could come throw out the first pitch at a softball game. Calder, what's going on? It's J.J. Watt. I just want to take a real quick second to first off say hello. It was a perfect strike and I mean it was, it was amazing because I got to meet my one of my heroes. I'm proud of him not because he can play sports. I'm proud of him because he doesn't have any fear. If you put your mind to it and you really work hard, you can do it. And don't be scared to try. If you don't try, then you don't know.